What's up guys, Tommy Cinebeer here. We're on Sober Simulator today just for a quick little video. Now before we get into the video, I just want to say if you are new to the channel or not subscribed, it would really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button. Please turn on the notification bell with all notifications turned on so you don't miss out my future videos, live streams and pet giveaways in various games including this one. Please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below as I do try to respond to all comments that are left. Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you a void evolution of one of the um, moon pets from the top island. Now, as you can see I've been uh, grinding quite a few hearts uh, over the last few days because I'm going to be looking at doing a video on hatching the new egg over here which does cost 250 hearts and any pets that I do get from here will be going into um, a giveaway so any of the single moon pets or double moon pets that I get will actually be going into a giveaway regardless of what evolutions they are if they are golden shiny rainbow or void they will all go into a giveaway um, I am trying to get as many pets done as possible to get a giveaway done at ASAP but in this video today I'm going to show you one of the pets that I've actually managed to hatch on um, my alt account while I've been grinding the hearts now as you can see I've got my alt account on here at the moment um, which has been on the top island hatching while I've been killing the boss now to my surprise I've actually managed to hatch um, a void triple moon pet now obviously I'm just going to show you what the pet is in the egg so we know what we're looking at first so as you can see here this is obviously the top egg and the pet that um, I have actually managed to hatch which I'm still quite shocked is the triple moon pet here now I think this is about the 6th or maybe 7th triple moon pet that I've actually hatched in Void Evolution. The rest I've uh, managed to obviously make via trading and collecting um, over a course of weeks by leaving my accounts on the previous islands instead of hatching the new ones. Um, so being that we've got the, uh, the um, hearts going on at the moment, which is the Valentine's update, I thought I'll uh, carry on hatching this egg with my alt account while I try and get the hearts for the Valentine egg to do a video to see what I can get for a giveaway and to my shock um, I've just actually noticed that there's a void evolution of this in um, my inventory so I've actually transferred it onto my main account to show you guys because I'm going to equip it and show you what it looks like and show you what the stats are now obviously when I do level that pet up um, and put it onto my account I will be putting one of these pets into um, a giveaway once I replace it so as you can see these are quite high levels at the moment so these probably will be level 100 before I actually transfer the pet over to this account that I've grinded upon the other one um, but when I do transfer it over one of these pets will actually go into a giveaway so you will actually see what the stats are of these at the moment um, and obviously all the other voids that will be going in there, some will be levelled up and some will be at level 0 and so forth um, but obviously I will show you what pets will be in the future giveaway the giveaway that I'm looking at trying to get done ASAP will be um, shiny and rainbow pets <coughs> um, because I've got quite a few of those pets at the moment and then that will give me a little bit more time to get some more void double moon pets and void single moon pets to put in the giveaway so firstly uh, we are obviously going to be showing you the Triple Moon Pet in Void Evolution. So if I just open this uh, pet up now. So you can see here, Void Ultimate Chaos Vortex. Um, now I've actually got a couple of rainbows. So obviously these rainbows will be going into the rainbow giveaway. Um, obviously I'll be looking at using this once leveled up. And then one of these pets will go into the future Void giveaway. So before I put this on, I'm just going to show you what the stats are of these pets at the moment. So at level 77 for a Void Planet Timothy, you're talking 419,490 strength and coin boost. And a crown boost of 152,662.5. Now, as I said, while I level this um, Void Ultimate Chaos up on my old account, by the time I get this up to a decent level to um, exchange it for one of these pets these probably will be at level 100 so potentially um, these will actually be a lot higher now the um, stats on a void planet Timothy 
once it gets to level 100 um, I'm just trying to actually see where it is um, Void Planet Timothy at level 100 uh, caps out at 474,000 strength and coin boost and a crane boost of 172,500 now as I said that will actually go into a future giveaway um, being that I am actually going to be looking at utilizing this pet myself um, being that I've actually managed to hatch it it's been a long time since I've had any luck of hatching um, a void triple uh, the last couple of ones I've actually uh, managed to make but I'm still quite shocked I've actually managed to get this one so I, I wanted to show you what this one looked like and what the stats was so for void ultimate chaos the pet will actually look like this now I haven't actually physically put this on myself at the moment so I don't actually know what it looks like myself um, but I dare say it's just going to be the standard void colours um, now as I say every time I would actually like to see some colour in the void pets but I believe this will just be the standard void colour oh, okay um, my mistake so I actually thought this was just going to be completely pure black now I think the the more I've actually uh, looked at some of the comments that I've been leaving on the Discord channel, um, and a lot of people have actually been uh, liking it, and it looks like they've actually included the actual colour. So as you can see here, instead of it just being pure black, we've actually got the blue and purple um, around it, and you've actually got the purple um, lightning going around it as well. So they've actually started incorporating colour into the void pets from the looks of it. So I am actually happy that they've uh, been looking at the comments from uh, myself and a few people and obviously how many people are actually liking the comments. So this is the first Void Pet that I've actually seen um, for a Void Triple Moon Pet anyway, which has got colour. All the other Voids that I've seen are the Double Moon Pets. So whether or not they've just changed the Triple Moon Pets, I'm not certain because... Um, I believe a void pet from this egg is still the void colour of black. So, as you can see, the triple moon pet has actually got colour. So it might just be that the triple moon pets have got colour on the last few islands. Uh, hopefully, if that's the case, they will actually include the colour into the double moon pets at some point. And then, hopefully, the single moon pets as well. So, I am actually happy that they are listening to um, the community and including colour into the void pets. Um, and to be honest, I do actually like that pet. It makes it stand out a lot more when there's colour. And as you can see, you can see it clearly stands out from the rest. So I do actually like that. So I am actually going to try and get this leveled up ASAP. So I can equip it onto this account. Now as I said, once I do actually put this onto this account, then one of these pets will go into the future void giveaway. So please keep an eye out when I do announce the giveaways. As I said, I am looking at doing a shiny and rainbow giveaway um, very, very soon. So I'll post a update on that uh, shortly. Now, that will give me enough time to get some more void single moon and double moon pets to put in the giveaway. So I am looking at doing two giveaways, um, one for rainbow and uh, rainbow and shiny. And then the void giveaway, just like I've done the void giveaway back in December, uh, just after Christmas. So please keep an eye out for any announcement for those giveaways. So, as I said, I just wanted to show you what the actual pet looked like um, from this top island. Because I did say if I do manage to get any void evolutions, I would actually do follow-up videos. Now, I still can't believe my luck that I've actually hatched it. Um, I've been constantly hatching this egg for about the last week week and a half um, and all I've managed to make are these two rainbows um, on the other account but when I seen this one in the inventory I was completely not gobsmacked I just I just did not know what to actually say um, but I just want to show you guys what it looked like and what the stats was now obviously once this is leveled up to level 100 um, the void chaos um, it will cap out at 537,000 strength and coin boost and a crane boost of 217,500 so not a bad uh, stats for that pet now obviously it's not as powerful as the two new pets from the two valentine eggs because uh, they do cap out at 552,000 and 567,000 
but obviously you've got to get a lot of hearts to keep um, hatching that egg so with the crowns you can just constantly hatch and hopefully pray for the best now my luck has been really really um, low lately with any sort of voids uh, for triple moon pets and even rainbows um, so I am still quite shocked that I've got this void but as I said guys I just want to show you what the pet looked like what the stats was and as I said I, I'm still shocked that they've actually included the colour into the pet um, I never thought that they would have actually added the colour until after the possible big update that they are talking about but it looks like they have actually included it before they do a revamp of Saber Sim from what obviously has been announced on the Pet Factory by Venix. Um, obviously, you guys have probably seen that the live event was cancelled and it's because they're looking at doing some sort of big update on Saber Sim to go alongside the live event. So I'm I am happy that they've actually started including some stuff into the game before that update that they are looking at doing so i hope you guys enjoy uh so like the actual pet itself as well as i say i do like how pets are unique to the islands and to the eggs now void pets i've i know for a fact i've never seen any other void pet um except for this one at this moment there might be others out there that i haven't seen but at the moment i've not seen any other uh, void pet that has actually had the colouring um usually get the little um effect around it just like the blue and purple effect around the void plant timothy but i've not seen any with the actual wings and part of the pet still um a different colour it's always been the void black so i do actually like how they've actually incorporated that into this uh, pet from the top egg okay guys so as I said at the beginning, this was just a quick little video to show the um, pet from this egg. Hopefully that has uh, helped a lot of people know what the pet looks like and what the stats are. And as I said, when it does actually get up to level 100, um, it will actually cap out at 437,000 strength and coins and 217,500. So if anyone else has actually managed to hatch a void or even traded uh, rainbows to make a void, if you was wondering what the stats would be once you cap it at level 100, that's what it's going to be at. So it is a really powerful pet. Now, um, hopefully this week we will look, probably see a new island unless they include a third Valentine's egg. Um, but I will be looking at doing a video on hatching the new Valentine's egg at the moment and spending around about a million or just over see what i can get obviously for a giveaway and as i said anything that i hatch from there whether it be shiny um rainbow void or even golden as long as it's got some pretty decent high stats that will help people out i will put that into the giveaway so any single moon and triple uh, double moons that i get will automatically go into the giveaway um hopefully i can get a couple of rainbow triple moons as well to put into the rainbow giveaway as well guys so Please keep an eye out for any notification for those two upcoming giveaways. I am trying to get them done ASAP. Um, as you can appreciate, it does take a little bit of time to get quite a lot of pets to try and do a giveaway. As I do like to actually make a lot of people happy. Um, instead of giving, giving about 10 or 15 out, I try and get about 40 pets or more. Just to try and help a lot of people out. So, fingers crossed I can actually get those pets done ASAP. Um, and get the giveaways started and then as I said get some more void pets to go into the giveaway as well guys okay so I hope you uh, have actually enjoyed the, the video of the new the trip moon pet from the top uh, island and obviously what it looks like and the stats and as I said me personally I do actually like the pet and I do like how they've put the colour in if you agree with me please leave a comment in the section down below let me know if you think that the pets look better with colour or if you just prefer it as standard void colour which is pure black um, personally I actually like it with the colour but let me know what your comments are down in the section below guys so before I end the video I just want to say once again if you are new to the channel or not subscribed it would really mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button 
please turn the post notification bell with all notifications turned on so you don't miss some of my future videos live streams and pick giveaways in various games including this one please feel free to leave a comment in the section down below as i do try to respond to all comments that are left and if you enjoyed the video today guys and found it helpful knowing what the pet looks like and what the stats are please smash that thumbs up button see if we can rate 350 likes or more on this video today guys but for now guys that's it for this video and i'll catch you in the next video stay safe guys and peace out